Father God, I worship you. Father God, I uplift your holy name. For you are worthy and worthy to be praised. You are worthy of all our praise. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, I thank you for being the matchmaker. I thank you for being our heavenly father. Lord, there are no other gods like you. There are no other lords but you. You are the only one. Lord, I thank you for being mighty and awesome and for loving us enough to give us Jesus. And with Jesus comes blessings. And with Jesus comes favor. With Jesus comes covenants of blessings and overflow. With Jesus comes miracles and glory. And right now, in the name of Jesus, we come against every spirit that has tried to keep us out of the land of promise. We come against every demonic spirit that has tried to shame us and mock us and whisper in our ears that we would never eat the good of the land. And every spirit that tried to tell us that we would never get married or stay married, we silence their vocal cords. We silence the vocal cords of every liar. We snuff out the plans of every witch, warlock, evil priest, or sorcerer who has been working against us in the spirit. We snuff out every person who has been working against our marital destinies in the mighty name of Jesus. And we release the fire of the Lord to destroy those who are coming up against your plans for our lives. We release the fire of the Lord to burn up and burn out everything in our lives and in our pathway that is not like you. We surrender to your will. We surrender to your process. We surrender to your timing and we will not take a satanic substitute for our destinies. We will not take a satanic substitute for our spouses, but we will receive the person that you and your awesome wisdom have chosen for us. We receive the person you and your divinity has called us to walk alongside and to carry out your plans for your glory. And if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is in a relationship that you have not ordained, Lord, I pray that you snatch them out of it in the mighty name of Jesus. If there's anyone under the sound of my voice who is going the wrong way. Lord, I ask that you show them your way. Show them. Give it to them in a dream. Give it to them in visions and take away the false peace that Satan has given them outside of your will. Convict them in the night time. Convict them in the night hour and help them to see that your way is better than theirs. Open up their eyes and show them the plot and plans of the enemy before it's too late and help them to let go and get rid of any one or anything that does not please you and I speak that every counterfeit in our lives be removed by your holy hand in the mighty name of Jesus and I speak that everything that's not like you Rabbi Kasha, be moved in the name of Jesus and Lord I ask that you would help us to walk upright and pure and holy before you and we come against demonic spirit spouses that would cause us to fall Rami Kosai we come against incubus and succubus spirits of the night that try to sleep with us in our dreams. We come against spirit spouses who have tried to have children with us in the spirit realm and we proclaim the death of every demonic child we have ever birthed out or provided seed for in the name of Jesus and I speak that your fire will surround us like a shield and deliver us because we want to be set free Lord. We want to be delivered. We want to receive whatever it is that you have for us including the mate you have ordained for us since before the foundation of the world. You and your awesome wisdom had plans for us long ago and we choose your plans. We choose your way. We will not settle. We will not compromise. And every spirit trying to sabotage us, every spirit trying to delay our marital destiny because of legal rights that they have over us, I revoke their rights by the blood of Jesus and I issue a divorce decree in the realm of the spirit and I ask you Lord to oversee this decree and annulment for you are the excellent judge you are the mighty judge and right now I divorce myself from any demon that would claim legal right to my life through any ancestral covenants or covenant that I have made knowingly or unknowingly in the name of Jesus and we break and disannul any marriage to any demon or spirit spouse and I declare that we are free from their demonic attacks and Lord we repent forever giving 
given them access to our lives and every ring that they have put on our fingers, every wedding veil, every wedding dress, every demonic tuxedo suit or tie that they have put on us in the spirit realm and said that we belong to them. We ask that your holy fire would come now and burn it by fire. We snatch off the demonic rings. We burn up evil marriage contracts that have been signed knowingly or unknowingly in the name of Jesus and any curse we have spoken over ourselves that gave these spirits legal rights, that gave these spirits legal access into our lives. We revoke it, Arabashai. We revoke their access and we repent for whatever it is that gave them that access and we ask that you set us free. We ask that you put a muzzle over our mouth so that we can only speak your word. We ask that you put a muzzle over our mouth so that we can only speak good things in the mighty name of Jesus and we cancel out all curses that have been issued against us in the spirit realm and we replace it with your word that says you have come to give us life and that more abundantly and we receive everything that comes with the abundant life. Yeah, We receive everything that comes with the abundant life and we loose ourselves from these evil spirit spouses who think that they are married to us. We loose ourselves from the generational curses that have allowed these spirits to rule and reign in the bloodline. And Lord, we repent for the sins of our ancestors. We repent for the shortcomings and mistakes that they made that put these curses on the bloodline. And now I ask that my bloodline be wiped clean from every marriage blocking spirit and let every spirit spouse who has claimed legal rights over us be cast into the pit of darkness and hell and go back to Sheol from whence it came and may it never rise up again against us. May we never have to deal with this again. In every house, these evil spirits took us to in a dream. We burn up the house by fire. Every food that they have fed us, Arabashai, every drink that they have given us to drink, we throw it up now in the spirit and ask that you purge our spirit from their witchcrafts. And we ask, Lord Jesus, that you would arise and be our defender in the heavens. We ask that you put up a blood wall and a wall of fire around us and our husbands, around us and our spouses. And we ask that every evil covenant we have entered into knowingly or unknowingly, we speak now that it's broken. And may your wrath come upon every wicked enemy who is trying to delay our marital destiny. Every evil altar that's been raised up against us to delay or destroy our marital destiny. Evil altars that has been set against our marriages. We send the fire of the living God over you now. May you be located now and destroyed by fire. For you, O oh Lord, will not suffer or allow any witch to live and all these curses that our families all of these curses that are on our families that keep people from being married all these curses that are on our bloodline that keeps people from staying married after they get married all these curses that makes every marriage end up in divorce we come against those curses now and we drive them out by fire and Lord we thank you for bringing the right people into our lives. Lord, we thank you for bringing our God-ordained spouses into our lives. And may everyone who spoke evil curses over us, saying that it would never happen for us, saying that we're too old, too fat, too broke, too ugly, too skinny, too this or too that, and that no one would ever love us, we bind up every curse and send it back to the sender. And may the words they have spoken over us fall on their own heads. We rebuke the lies of the enemy and every naysayer sent by Satan to mock us and laugh at us. And we do not accept or receive their lives. Oh, Rabbi Sai. But in the end, we will walk into the promise. In the end, we will be the ones laughing. For Father, you said in your word that you save the wicked and you save them just so you could laugh at them. For you laugh at the wicked and their day is coming. And I speak that the words they have evilly spoken over us and our God are spouses may it be their own portion may they eat every word they have spoken and may the evil and loneliness and death that they wished upon us return to them tenfold for we shall have what you say for you said in your word oh God in Isaiah 55 verses 10 and 11 that for as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and does not return there but it waters the earth and it makes it bring forth and bud 
that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. You said that that is your word that goes forth from out of your mouth and it shall not return to you void, but it shall accomplish what you please and it shall prosper in the thing for which you sent it. And because of that word, we can count on your promises to come true. Because of that word, we can count on you to do what you said you're gonna do, for you are not a man that you must lie. And because you spoke it, we can trust it. Oh, Rabbi Shai, you put the desire in our hearts. And because you did this, I decree and declare that it shall happen for us and we shall be married. And what you have spoken over us concerning our marital destiny shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. For you said in your word that it is not good for a man to be alone. And we thank you that we won't have to be alone much longer. Rabbi Shai, we thank you that you are sending our destiny partners now for you are the God of suddenlies and you have shown us dreams you have given us prophecies you have given us words and confirmations and you have stirred up our spirits for marriage for that is your will for our lives and from this moment on we accept your will from this moment on we accept your plans and we accept the person that you have ordained for us for your thoughts are so much higher and better than ours and we can trust you to bring us the right person and we trust that you can do it at the right time and we trust that you will give us someone who will love us to our core and someone that will help us be better than the person who we are today we know that you only give good gifts for you are good in all of your ways you are awesome in all of your ways and for those who are already married I speak a mighty restoration I speak a newness I speak a freshness and a reviving of lost love and I ask that you stir up the husband's heart for his wife so that he can love his wife like Christ loved the church and I ask that you will comfort the wife and show her how to honor and respect her husband and pour love into him and any Jezebelic spirit or spirit of lust or frustration or confrontation that is being used to drive these marriages apart that you have ordained we ask that you snuff them out now by fire and by force and father I thank you that you would open up the eyes of the wives and the husbands so that they can see who their real enemy is I ask that you would open up their eyes and show them the plans of the enemy and help them to come together and fight against what is trying to tear them apart for you said in your word that a threefold cord is not easily broken and Lord I ask that the person who is trying to come up against heavenly covenants in Ramasai, any person who is trying to come up against heavenly covenants and what you and your mighty thoughts have put together I ask that they be brought to shame I ask that their efforts they call it up old sire I speak that their efforts will be null and void and I speak that every plan that they have made against us and our spouses and our marriages oh I speak that their plans will backfire now oh Lord bring utter humiliation to anyone who is trying to humiliate and bring to ruin the covenants of the men and women that you have tied together and I speak peace over marriages now I speak peace over over the singles now I speak peace over their minds over their bodies and I speak a new hope and a refreshing river to refresh the lonely hearts I speak a new glory to come upon these marriages like never before and I speak a new hope and a new joy over the marriages now and I pray that your heavenly angels would arise and protect what you have joined together in the mighty name of Jesus and I ask that you Holy Ghost would come in and comfort the singles who are waiting I ask that you would come in like a flood and flood out every spirit that's not like you flood out that demonic spirit of loneliness that would make us cry at night no more crying for weeping season is over for God is swiftly getting ready to do what he promised us long ago and Lord God we thank you and Lord God we worship you Lord God we uplift your holy name for you are righteous you are righteous in all of your ways and we trust you and we believe you we believe you we believe you in the mighty name of Jesus and it is so in Jesus Whoa, I Believe in the Lord. Yeah, 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 if he said it.
the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he said it, he's going to do it. Come on, y'all. If he said it, he's going to do it. I said, if he said it, he's going to do it. Believe in the Lord. Hey.